Hi, welcome to Nick Knows. I'm Alila, a student in Durham Public Schools and part of the Environmental Science Summer Program at Duke University's Nicholas School. Today, my ESSP group is visiting the Home Depot Smart Home to get a look at the cool new tech and innovations that students living here are using every day to help save water, save energy, and save the environment. The students love the Home Depot Smart Home. They think it's so cool. They will come back from the program asking their parents if they can install solar panels or get LED lights. Some of these things are possible, some of these things aren't possible, but they come back so excited about the ways that they can make a difference and conserve energy and conserve water. Did you know, each day the average family uses about 300 gallons of water. The U.S. is ranked number two in the world for producing electricity, and we're number one for producing the most waste, 236 million tons. So I think for the future of clean energy, there are two main aspects. First is um, improving the way we generate energy, so improving the, the uh, development of solar panels and wind, um, but also decreasing our energy demand because Renewable energy, there's no way it can keep up with energy demand we have now in the future. A smart home is a very good example of the second aspect of reducing energy demand through efficiency and conservation. Let's take a look at four smart solutions at this smart home. Number one, energy efficient appliances. Some of these you might even have in your own home. A refrigerator, a dishwasher, or a washer and dryer. These are all Energy Star certified appliances meaning the refrigerator is 9% more energy efficient, the dishwasher is 5% more energy efficient, and 15% more water efficient. The washer uses 25% less water and 33% less energy, and the dryer is 20% more energy efficient. Number two, LED lights are a recent addition here at the smart home. LED lights can use up to seven times less electricity than regular bulbs and can last up to 25 times longer, and they're catching on. In 2012, about 49 million LEDs were installed in the U.S., saving about $675 million in energy costs. Number three, rainwater harvesting. Showering, washing clothes, watering plants, even flushing. It's all done with rainwater here at the smart home. And number four, solar heating. About 15 to 30% of energy at home usually goes to heating water for taking showers, washing dishes, or cleaning laundry. Using a solar water heater instead of electricity can lower a home water heating bill from 50 to 80%. And there are simple ways you can save energy at home. Try using LED light bulbs and turn off the lights when you're not in the room. Turn off the water when you're brushing your teeth. Be sure to change your AC air filters. Clean air filters use less energy and fire up the grill this summer to save energy heating the stove or oven. We like to expose the kids to a variety of careers in the environment, one of which is environmental engineering. And so the smart home is associated with Duke School of Engineering and the students can learn about careers in environmental engineering. Another reason that we bring the students out is because they can learn about energy and water conservation. And they can actually learn about techniques and ways of conserving energy they can bring home. Well, that's it for me today. I'm Alila and thanks for joining me at the Home Depot Smart Home at Duke. Saving energy starts with you. Make sure to watch for the next episode of Nick Knows. Bye.